it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I was merrily working my way through this video and then I knocked the microphone over and I thought that has probably made an almighty clatter. You know, my microphone that's uh, on its very fancy technical um, mic stand, aka a tube of hand cream. Almost just did it again. Do you never just annoy yourself? Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about, how much I annoy myself. I am here to talk about the Pink Bubble Cards Alphabet Challenge. So I have just made a project for O for Old. Um, and then I've got one more to catch up with. So maybe I'll catch up before the next prompt, which I think is next Wednesday. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Wasn't quite sure what to do. Had a little troll through my stash and discovered that I have this um, die set, which I hadn't used. It's called Tailored. I think I bought it maybe earlier this year, maybe longer ago than that. And I can't remember. I presumably bought it because I had something in mind. I think maybe I fancied this top hat for like a... Mad Hatter, Alice in Wonderland kind of thing. Anyway, I haven't done that. Um, so yeah, so I've used this and I was going to make some ATCs, which is what I have made. <laughs> I think I'm a bit special today. Does anybody else have days like that where you think I'm just talking all the nonsense? Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. So I used that die set. I pulled out my glass mat to make some inky backgrounds and realise it still had a little bit of ink left on it. So I just spritzed that with water and um, soaked it up on some little ATC sized cards. And then I stamped some oldy vintagey type things on. So some old text, a key, a ticket and the words golden memories. And then I've added my little hat and the collar and the bow tie. This How Old came from another Tim Holtz stamp set, which I've really unhelpfully not kept the packaging for, but it's this one. Um, I love these chaps. I've used them on quite a few things. They're a really nice size for an ATC as well, but it's got the words How Old, and I thought, that's just what I need. So this is the first one. Great for using up little scraps as well. And then I did one with a top hat with a little sort of autumnal colour tart in there. And then this one with a little polka dot in the blue. So I thought they were quite cute. So that is my O for Old for this month. And it sparked a bit of a memory because the not this weekend, just passed, but the one before we went, um, took my mum for a wee run in the car and we went and got fish and chips and we were sat at the coast. And we popped into a garden centre and I'm not sure why, but she was talking about, she was kind of reminiscing a bit and she was saying that her dad had a hat for every occasion. My mum didn't come from, you know, she came from quite a poor family, but um, there was, her grandfather was a tailor, so I guess, um, you know, your clothes and how you appeared was very important to them. And she said he had, my, my grandfather, who I never met, he died before I was born. You know, he had a top hat and a bowler hat and a, all sorts of different hats. So after I made those, I thought I'm going to dig out my box of um, photos, which is still sat on the floor, and see if I can find any hats of my grandfather. Well, any photos of my grandfather in a hat. So I found quite a few photos of him, but only one of him with a hat. So this is my, I suppose he wouldn't be wearing a hat in the living room, would he? But that is my grandma and my grandpa. So my grandma lived with us when I was little. She was a lovely lady. And then I've got this one of them sat on a wee bench. Now he is outside there. He could have had a hat on, but no hat. That says this one says it was taken in Ballater in 1957. So does this one say? No. But then I did find one. 
So this is when he was a soldier in the First World War. Look how blooming young he looks. He looks like a baby. Um, so he had his hat on there. So I don't have a hat like that, but... Um, oh my goodness. Sorry, I had to have a wee moment to myself. I never even met the man. <laughs> but you just look at his wee face and you think, what a horrific time must have had. Horrendous, anyway. So, yes. So, I just thought I would share that because I'm dead nosy and I like seeing old photos and things. And then I felt bad for my, my granny and my grandpa because I thought, I haven't shown you a photo of them. So, this is a photo of them. <laughs> they were so cute. They were just wee. And they stayed in Aberdeen. My grandma lived with us because she'd had a stroke about 20 years before she died. But my granny and my grandpa, they lived in sheltered housing up in Aberdeen. And we used to go out and see them all the time when I was little. Oh, so cute. So cute. And my grandpa, this grandpa, he was quite artistic and he wrote poems. And I've got some of his um, poetry and stuff. So, that is sort of <laughs> what it sparked for me thinking about old. I think, I don't want, I wonder if anybody else, if you're doing this, if you've gone for something old, has it sparked a memory or there's there something that's kind of um, brought up in your mind? So, yes, yeah, so I hope that you're all doing well. Um, I'm probably getting like one video a week at the moment, but that's okay. It's, I think it's just this time of year and see so, yeah. Um, I am doing well. I'm busy with orders and things this week and we had a nice weekend. My husband put his back out a little bit um, on, was it Thursday? It was kind of spasm. So we had a bit of a chill weekend, um, letting that recover a bit, rest a bit. Um, so we didn't play golf and we just we went to the cinema. We went to see Deadpool, which was hilarious um we had a takeaway to ourselves we watched some films at home and things and just pottered about um, but on friday i had a little surprise um, outing i was due to meet up with two of my good friends and we were just going to go around to one of the girls houses have a blather if it was nice we were going to go for a walk however she got the offer about Five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> did we? Did she want any tickets to go to the tattoo that night? So, if, for those of you that aren't from um, Scotland, you might never have heard of it. But every year in the month of August, there is a the Edinburgh military tattoo happens on the Esplanade of Edinburgh Castle. It's a really massive thing, um, and it's quite expensive to go and see it. Um, so I've not been to see it for, it's at least 10 years because I met my husband 10 years ago and him and I have never been together. So I said, oh, yeah, I'd love to. So I'm not quite sure how. I think it's somebody who's involved in some kind of organising as part of the tattoo. Anyway, they must have had some spare tickets left. So off we went. We went into town. Um, me, my two pals and one of her sons decided to come with us. God love him. He's 14. I said to him, this is very brave of you coming out with your mum and her old bath. <laughs> but um, I think he enjoyed his night out too. So it was lovely. We missed the very end of it because we rushed to get our bus. Because if we didn't get that one, it would have been the midnight bus. Um, and we thought that was a bit late for my friend's son. So I'll pop some photographs in at the end if you are interested. Um, I don't think I'll put any of the video clips in. Because they've got music. I wonder if I could put a little bit of the pipes. I'll give it a try. If you hear pipes, it worked. If you didn't, the copyright stuff didn't like it. Um, but yeah, it was lovely. And it also made me think of old things, i.e. me, because when I was not so old, many, many, many moons ago, 
uh, last century, I danced at the tattoo. So um, I did Highland dancing from when I was a teeny weeny little girl. And <coughs> I can't think. I did it for three years. Maybe. 97, 98, 99, something like that. Can't remember. Anyway, somewhere I have got photographs of myself and I don't know where they are. I think they might be in the cupboard of doom, which has got the exercise bike in front of it. And I am slightly scared that if I open it, there's going to be an avalanche and... I'm going to be at the bottom of that avalanche. So I've not gone and looked. But when I was looking for um, pictures of my grandpa in a hat, I found one photo. This is me a million years ago in my kilt backstage. This was the first year I did it. Oh, I'm so scary compared to now. And this was Billy. He was the uh, like the choreographer. He was in charge of all of us. And we had such a laugh. It was such good fun. This was the first year I know because I've got my own kilt on. And the second and third year we had like little sort of short kilts with leotards and black tights. So I know that this is that year. But yeah. But here I am. A very young... 30 years ago, not quite, 25 plus years ago. So yeah, it brought back lots of memories. I have to say, the dancers this year were amazing. Um, I saw a clip of it last year and they had like a, a sort of a costume change thing. Um, Mid-dance, something happened and the costumes changed colour and I was like, Oh my word, I was like, that is amazing. How much fun to be part of that. And then I instantly thought, I'd have messed that up. Oh, I'd have been in trouble. I'd have messed it up. Anyway, um, there was a similar sort of thing this year. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who's going. And they also did, they did the hornpipe in their sailor's outfits. They joined in with a kind of Bollywood style uh, thing. There was one point where they were like, like ravers they were in like little metallic kind of kilt outfits with like giant glow sticks and a piper came out and she was her pipes um, had flames coming out of the whatever the pipes are at the back it was just fabulous i had a great time if you're ever coming to edinburgh if you don't live in scotland and you're around in august i would definitely recommend it it was it's just so spectacular. Even though I am Scot, maybe because I'm Scottish, um, like the beginning of it, the sort of smoke in the, the gate up to the castle and the mast pipes and drums all come through this little gate. So I don't know how many, 100 maybe more pipers all playing and marching down the Esplanade. It gave me goosebumps. My friend, who she she did Highland Dance with me, but she didn't do the tattoo. Um, and I turned to her, I was like, what? With all the pipers, and she was like, oh, I could cry. <laughs> it was it's beautiful. Anyway, and they have people from all over the world joined in. So there was quite a lot. It was a naval theme. There was quite a few different um, groups from America doing like, um, like, I don't know what it's called, but they've got the sort of rifles and they like throw them up in the air and they throw them to each other and it's all like immaculately timed. Um, there was singers, um, I think they were from America, they did kind of some modern stuff and some jazz kind of stuff and they were brilliant. I'm not sure, there was like drummers who were like throwing their sticks up in the air, I'm not sure what nationality they were. There was a beautiful Indian singers and dancers. Um, as I say, they had sort of projected. It was almost like like a Bollywood kind of thing on the castle. It was just, it was great. It was great. I had a great time. And I think all the more so that I didn't know until a few hours before <laughs> that I was going. It was just a, a lucky, um, a lucky chance. So, yeah.
Anyway, I hope that you've all done something nice since I last saw you. Um, and are you joining in with this Pink Bubble Cards? Let me know what letter you're up to. You're probably up to date. Are you up to date? Everybody else is up to date. I feel like I am slow coach women. But what do they say? Better late than never. I've never been known for speed. Um, as my husband says, he says he's built for comfort, not speed. And I am the same. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you back very soon, either with the next letter in this challenge or I've still got a deck of the year card to make. So maybe I'll make that too. Thanks so much for watching. Take care now. Bye.